Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Hope you have a great weekend coming up. I want to talk about something that may may make a lot of enemies with some people, and I'm not trying to. It's not my intention. And I hope if you're watching this and you're a part of this group, you just kind of take my opinion for what it is. I don't hate you. I don't. And I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just trying to give my opinion on how I look at it compared to what you may look at. So I've been on the internet for a while, off and on, making videos, social media, streaming, stuff like that. And just recently, the channel's starting to pick up, which is great, because I've always wanted the channel to grow, and I hope it still grows. You know, I, I take a look at Social Blade all the time now. I'm like, man, I, if I just keep on doing what I'm doing, keep working, then here in the future, you know, I will have a presence online, and maybe this could be my full-time job. It's a dream. I could dream, though. I mean, it says like five years down the road, I should have almost 200,000 followers. Metrics are cool, but metrics are just predictions, especially for Social Blade, which, again, fingers crossed, I hope that happens. You know, I kind of hope it would be nice if we hit 5,000 followers by the end of this year. Probably won't happen, but it'd be cool. If anything, it'd be nice to hit 2,500 before my wedding. But we're not here to talk about followers and all that stuff. We're here to talk about something that's new to me. Something that I've never really paid much attention to until about a little over a month ago when we was introduced to Sweetie. Now, Sweetie is basically an auditor. He says he's not an auditor. He says he's not a sovereign citizen. But he is. Let's, let's, let's just say he is. I don't understand the First Amendment auditing community. I don't. I don't. And I'm not trying to disrespect you if you're you're part of that community. I just don't understand, okay? Majority of the videos I see when it comes to auditors are pretty much these people just being jackasses trying to get rises out of police because the police can't really do much. And when the police do their job, if, you know, like they are supposed to, which most cops do. I, I know the auditors will tell you differently, but, you know, you might have five cops out of 2,000 cops that are bad. But there's a good place for auditors. Let's take, for instance, Ironton Auditor. I have not watched a whole lot of this stuff, and I wasn't introduced to Ironton Auditor until, you know, the sweetie stuff. It's, like I said, it's new to me. And he seems to be pretty down to earth. Uh, I haven't watched a lot of his stuff. Um, but from what I hear, he's not like these other auditors that go around just trying to get cause problems. And that's what you kind of see a lot of. You see a lot of these channels are like, hey, I'm going to cause problems with these police that are trying to do their jobs. Even if the police are in situations like car wrecks, stuff like that, death, shootings. These people come in and try to make their jobs harder, which is not really fair. You know, I don't want... I, I'm an IT guy, and I'm a graphic designer, okay? I don't want somebody that just read a book about graphic design or IT but never touched anything, and it come to me and tell me how to do my job, tell me I suck, tell me I'm worthless, when I'm trying to do my job, something to benefit me, help pay for things... I don't want that to happen. The only person that should be able to do to that is my peers. I don't want somebody else to come in and do this. And it's kind of what I get from the auditor, auditor community. I, I just kind of feel like most of them are just there to cause problems. You know, they might say they're doing it to pre protect their First Amendment. But, I mean, if you have your camera and you walk into a building knowing that there's going to be some problems, you know people were going to call you out, just to try to make a point, I just don't see the benefit of it. I don't know what you're doing to help people just by causing problems. I mean, if that's what you're wanting to do because you know you can get away with it, you know, that's your thing. I don't agree with it. I don't. I never will agree with it. But I think auditors are, some auditors are good, okay? But whenever you take a look at the big picture, most of them are pretty bad. Um, and I hate to say that. Same goes with the sovereign citizen thing. I don't under 
I don't understand. I don't know the Kool-Aid these people are drinking, and I don't agree with it. Okay? okay I, I don't. I, pr I You know, I, I do one th a thing, and I do one thing good. I don't break the law. I don't go in looking for a fight. You know, we had fun going after Sweetie, but that was, you know, that's, that's the first time I've done that before. Honestly, that's the first time I've done that. And, you know, you try to dig dirt on me. I've never really been like that. I've never went after people. I'm kind of a non-confrontational um, person. I just, just never done anything for me. And I couldn't imagine, let's take, for instance, Chad Gu, um, Ironton police captain. It'd be terrible of me to walk up to him, say awful things to him, tell him he's a piece of shit, telling you hope he dies... That is awful. That's a terrible thing to do. You know, in the end, the people in uniform are still people. They have feelings. They have emotions. They can be hurt. I just don't understand why people get something out of that. It's like, oh, he, look what he said to the police. He's so cool. Ha ha ha. Some of them get arrested. Or the ones that are getting ready to get in trouble cross that line. They're the ones that start crying the most. Let's take it. It takes for instance. We we saw Sweetie do it. Sweetie went straight to the police after Kate. That happened. Even though he says he hates the cops. Even though a lot of his community says, "Oh, he would never run through the cops." Guess what? He ran to the cops. Most of these auditors do that. You know, they don't. They want to make fun of the police and give the police a hard time. But when it comes time for them to need help, they run to the police. They do. Most of them do. And that's what I've seen. I've seen a lot of them. Like, uh, one for instance, I forgot the name. I, I don't want to give these people names, okay? Ironton Auditor is different, okay? I, you know, he's in my area. I don't have anything against him. I've not seen him come off bad. I, I haven't watched a lot of his content, but from what I've talked to Ironton Auditor, he seems pretty down to earth, and I respect that. But... I don't want to give these people names, okay? I don't. I don't. And we already have one big name, and that's Sweetie. And I don't even call him by his real name. Like, I don't care what his real name is. I know it, but I'm not going to say it. His name is Sweetie. That's his name. It's always going to be a name. And he's a joke, like most of these auditors. We're not... You might as well just call them frauditors, because that's what a lot of people get them labeled as. But like I said, if you're trying to help the police, you know, trying to make things easier for the police or government officials by being an auditor and trying to make a difference, that's good on you. But if you're there just to cause problems because you know you can get away with it, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Well, I mean, I don't. In the case of Sweetie... We we watched we watched him make a fool of himself at that parade. We we actually also seen him make a fool of himself yesterday with his so-called exposure video, where the only thing he exposed is his idiocracy, the fact that he's a huge joke. Nobody takes him serious. Nobody is. Well, his cult does. His cult cult will follow him wherever he goes, but most of the people there hate watching him because you know he's a mess and it's entertaining. But I don't understand the whole audit thing. You, you know, and, and if you are an auditor, okay? If you're an auditor and you're trying to make a difference, you're not trying to cause problems, I'd like to hear from you. I, I really do. I want to learn about these things, okay? I don't want to do these things myself. I don't have any interest in these things, right? I, I don't have interest in causing problems for people. You know, as somebody that's got mental issues myself... You know, it's hard enough, right? You you don't want people coming in causing problems, especially if, you know, they're just doing their job. And like I said, not all police are bad. But you can also put the whole police are bad in with any kind of op occupation there is. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I always stutter. You know, there's always going to be people, bad people in any occupation. Not just police. Just like the auditors. You know, a lot of them cause problems, but some of them don't. 
But for some reason, these frauditors make it seem like all the police are out to get you. They're ready to put their fingers up your ass and just... You, you know what that means, right? You just put it up there, like, really hard. Yeah, you, you get the picture. No, no, not all the cops are out to get you. They're not... They're not fucking tigers or dinosaurs that's going to bite you as soon as they see you. Um, you know, I don't understand. Oh, you always have to put a camera on a policeman. I don't understand that. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I, if, if you're so afraid that your rights are going to get violated, then why are you going out on the streets? You're not proving any points. Now, I'm not saying that all frauditors you know, have cases. I mean, there might be cases where there's corrupt police. But again, any occupation is going to have corruption. It doesn't matter what it is. It's the way it is. It's been like that since the beginning of a time, since history. We can look in the history book and we're like, oh, yeah, there's bad people everywhere. Everywhere. And that's that's why I, I I wish I knew more about the auditing thing. You know, I, I I'm open to a lot of things, right? I I'm really open to a lot of things, but some things like that I just don't get it. I don't understand it, and maybe one day I will understand it. But the way I see it, the way I look at things, as somebody that follows the law. I don't do anything I know of, and I'm not perfect. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not perfect. I've done things. I, you know, I used to drink a lot. I used to drink heavily. I used to drive when I drank. That's true. That's true. You know, I, I never got caught. This was when I was in college, and I'm ashamed of that. I'm ashamed of that shit. I am. It's it's bad. You know, I've I've smoked marijuana many of times. I ate edibles many of times. When I was younger. But, but, I don't purposely go out on a mission to cause issues. Now, I know some people call people like me bootlickers, and I don't care. I even had a friend that called me a part of the bootlicker brigade. The hillbilly bootlicker brigade, which, that's fine. That's fine. If you want to stand on that hill, that's fine. Do that. I don't care. I can care less. I'm, how I see it is I'm having a good time. You know, and, you know, I want to continue taking a look at some of these frauditors kind of up close. We, uh, we've only been touching on Sweetie, okay? We've only been touching on Sweetie. We haven't touched any other auditors. Frauditors, okay? Again, frauditors. Karens. <laughs> but I think we'll, we're going to move into that territory. We're going to cover more of these people. Try to see what makes these people tick. See, you know, if we have anything we could add to it to maybe make it less hostile. Because I think the hostility is what gets me. You know, being disrespectful is something I don't do. I was raised to be respectful to people. And that's what I do. I like to be respectful to people because... I kind of feel like, you know, you that goes a long way. People trust you more. But anyways, I I think that in the future maybe I'll know more about these things, but right now it's not completely clear to me. And I don't think if you're one of those people that are only out there to cause problems, you you're not going to change my mind. Again, most of the time when you're on YouTube or whatever and you look up these you know, auditors, most of them are pretty terrible people, terrible human beings, but just take advantage of people. That's what they are. That's all they do is take advantage of people. They think they know more than what they know, and they use that to cause problems because they think, hey, that police officer doesn't know exactly what I'm talking about. He doesn't know, know how to do his job, but I know how to do his job, and I'm perfect. But I'm not going to sign up to get a job because this is going to be my job is harassing people because I have nothing else better to do than harass people. That's how I see it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.